In this video, we're going to learn how to integrate with piecewise functions. So in our first example, the function f of x is defined by the following piecewise function. Now notice the top function is when x is greater than 3. The bottom function when it, x is less than or equal to 3. We're trying to find the integral from 1 to 5 of f of x. Well, the bottom function would work from 1 to 3. So we start off by pen malfunction by integrating 1 to 3 of the bottom function. And then we're going to add to that the integral. Now notice the top function starts at 3. So that'll work for 3 to 5. And we would integrate x plus 4 dx. So notice we had to break up our integral into two pieces because the function had two pieces. Well, now let's work those out separately. So in our first integral, if we integrate 10, we get 10x. If we integrate negative x, we get negative x squared over 2. And our bounds are from 1 to 3. If we plug in, when we plug in the 3 here, we get 30. When we plug in the 3 on the second term, we would get negative 9 halves minus, plug in the bottom bound, so that would be 10 minus, plug into our second term, and that would give us 1 half. So now we could go ahead and make like fractions as one possible way to do this. We have 60 halves minus 9 halves is 51 halves on the left side. On the right side, we would have 20 halves minus 1 half, which would be 19 halves on the right side. We are subtracting those two items would give us 32 halves or 16 as an answer for our first integral. Our second integral, if we integrate x, we would get x squared over 2. If we integrate 4, we get 4x. Our bounds now are 3 to 5. Go ahead and plug in our top bound, so we would get 25 over 2. Plug in to our second piece, we would get 20. Create a little more space here for ourselves. Uh, minus, and then plug in the bottom bound, we would get 9 over 2. Plus, and then we'd plug in again and get 12. Again, we could make like fractions as one way to solve this. We have 25 halves plus 40 halves makes 65 halves on the left side. On the right side, we could do 9 halves plus 24 halves, which gives us 33 halves. Subtract, that would again give us 32 halves, or 16. And now realize we're going to need to add those two answers. So 16 plus 16 would make 32 as our final answer. Let's try that one more time. So in our second example, uh, the function is defined by this piecewise function. This time we are integrating from 1 to 4. So let's separate that again. The bottom function works to the left of 2. So we can certainly use that from 1 to 2, x plus 2 dx. Our second function is good from 2 to 4 of x squared dx. So let's go ahead and work that piece out again. We had separated into two pieces. Bottom one worked for the first. Top one worked for the second. If we integrate the left side, we get x squared over 2 plus 2x from 1 to 2. That's going to give us, if we plug in, plug in a 2 here, we would get 2 plus 4. Plug in a 1, we would get 1 half plus 2. So I've got 6 minus 
two and a half, which ends up being uh, seven halves. For our second one, we've got, we integrate, we get uh, x cubed over three from two to four. Plug in, that would give us 64 thirds for the top minus 8 thirds for the bottom, which would give us 56 thirds. Ashtar Shahzad, please go to the front. Your right is waiting for you. Ashkar Shahzad, your right is waiting for you. And that's obviously the loudspeaker. So now I need to add these two. I've got 7 halves plus 56 thirds which would be 21 over 6 plus 112 over 6, which is 133 over 6.